to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I promised you guys a YouTube tutorial, but what a better time than Valentine's Day. So today I wanted to show you guys how to create this look. This is a really soft, natural look. You definitely don't need to do a red lip, but I decided to do a red lip because it's Valentine's Day. So it's optional. I will also be showing you guys other lip options that can suit this look and still look really soft and romantic opposed to looking extra bold wearing a red lip. So if you guys want to watch me recreate this look, keep on watching. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my eyebrows and I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Brunette. And I start off by combing out my brows to make sure that they're all in place. And then I go in and I always start at the bottom of my brow, making sure that I do the outline of my eyebrow first. And then what I do is do small strokes so it looks more like hair growth. And I do that all the way to the middle of the brow. And then when I get to the top of the brow, what I do is I comb my brow down and it's gonna allow you to fill in those spots. And then I just go in and brush that out. Make sure that it's not too harsh or too um, defined. Up, I'm going to be using a Studio Finish Concealer to conceal under my eyebrow to clean up and to give it more of a defined um, look. So I'm gonna be using Tarte's um, Angle Brush and it has a dual, uh, it's a dual brush, so I'm gonna go ahead and load up my brush and going in about three-fourths in with the concealer following the shape of my brow is going to add definition and then I just bring down all of the product I don't add any more product to the brush Then I go in with a fluffy brush and this is the Morphe uh, M513 brush. I try not to go over um, the actual concealer. I go just right below the product. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a painterly paint pot. Apply the base and just blend it out while I'm applying it. And I try to stay within the lid and above the crease. So making sure that you don't go up higher um, just because you are gonna start blending into your um, brow highlight. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and use just a fluffy brush to set my base. You can use just any translucent powder. And now I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Lavish palette. I'm gonna start off with the orange soda as my transition color and I'm using the Morphe um, E28 brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my crease color. And basically what I'm doing is windshield wiper motions and circular motions at the same time. Now I'm going to take Sienna and place it right in the center of the crease and just, just go back and forth to create that definition into your crease. Now 
This is going to allow you to create depth to your to your crease and it's going to separate the lid color and the crease color very nicely. Now I'm going to go back into my lid with a little bit more of the eye base just to make sure that when I apply the lid color it's just gonna stand out a lot more as my lid color I'm gonna go in with Anastasia's cream eyeshadow and I'm going back in with the blending brush that I use for my base and I'm just gonna go in and dab very lightly and the reason why I'm not using a flat brush because I want to make sure that the lids the lid color and the crease color just blend in very nicely and since this is a Valentine's Day look I want to make sure that the eyes are not overly done and they're still nice and soft but it has that nice romance to the look so you it's optional if you want to do shimmer but because I wanted to be a little bit softer I wanted to stick to mattes I'm gonna go ahead and do the fun part which is eyeliner and I absolutely love, love, love this eyeliner. Um, I mentioned it to you guys on Instagram. The matte um, liquid liner by NYX. It's in the color black. And I love it because it dries down super black. So if you guys are looking for a really good eyeliner, a liquid liner, um, I would recommend this one to give this a try. I used to use e.l.f but this came into my life and it took over so um yeah give this a try and you guys will see what i'm talking about so when doing the eyeliner you always want to make sure that you take small steps especially when you're using a liquid liner so the first thing that i always do is i always start in the center of my lid and when i get to the end i just stop and I come in to the inner part of my lid. And this is where it gets tricky. So basically what I do is I continue just flicking the wing. You wanna connect the bottom portion of the eyeliner to the top portion and it'll give you that little gap in that little space. All you have to do next is just fill that in. And since that one's a bit thicker on the wing part, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to connect it and make it a little thicker. Now I'm going to be using the Lights Camera Flashes Mascara by Tarte. This is just gonna give a little bit of length and fullness to my lashes. I just do a very light coat of um, mascara. Now I'm going to apply my falsies and these are the Flutter Lashes Annabelle. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to my skin. I have been using this Ole Henriksen um, moisturizer. It's a very sheer uh, moisturizer. So what I do is I just dab it really, I just dab it onto my skin really lightly and then just with my fingertips just blend it into my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and 
uh, apply my primer, which I've been using the Pore Professional um, Matte Rescue. I'm going to use just this amount all over my face. So I dab it here and then just with your fingers. And these are the two foundations that I use the most. I'm going to apply a few pumps of the Studio Fix. I'm going to just do one pump of the All Day Luminous uh, Weightless Foundation. And I'm going to start off with a beauty blender. Let's move on to concealer. And I'm gonna be using my favorite concealer by NARS. And I'm gonna be using two different concealers. The medium to ginger concealer, I dab just in the inner part. And I'm just going in with the tip of the Beauty Blender and blending that out and bringing it a little towards the outer part of my under eye. So now I'm going to go in with my medium one custard and dab it in the areas that I want to highlight. To set my concealer, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. Also gonna use the Beauty Blender to apply it. And I'm gonna use a tip of the Beauty Blender. And I'm picking up a good amount of product. And I'm just gonna set under my eyes and the areas that I highlighted. While that sets, I don't typically like to contour with any creams or any liquid foundations. I always like to stick to powders. So what I like to use is the uh, MAC uh, Dark Mineralized Skin Finish first. And as you can see, it already starts giving you that warmthness that your skin needs so your face is not one color. And then just a bit on your forehead. And I, I know it looks a little bit blotchy, but once I set it with my powder, you're gonna see how it just brings the whole look together. So for that, I like to use a uh, Max Mineralize Skin Finish in uh, medium dark. Uh, I use this all over to set my uh, entire face. But before I do that, I am going to clean up all the under eye powder. And I'm using the Morphe E8 um, brush to do that. I just find that this brush just blends everything really nicely. The Morphe E41 brush. And what I like to do is I load the brush. And then I dab first. So basically this is what a powder puff would do, but in a brush. You guys know this has been my favorite um, highlight bronzing 
Glow by Anastasia, and I like to apply it with this Morphe M500 brush. And what I like to do is I like to pick up this, um, the golden bronze, to give me that really nice glow. I like to apply it right on top of where my contour starts. It'll give me a really nice glow. What to do next, um, so now that I've done the golden bronze, I am gonna go in with the dripping in gold and use that as my cheek highlight. Blush brush, and I'm going to dip this brush into the color Tipsy. This one right here. Very lightly, I'm barely touching my skin. I know you guys probably were wondering why I didn't finish the rest of my eyes, but I always do the bottom of my eyes once I'm done with my skin. Now I'm gonna go in, this is NC30 NW25 Chromographic Pencil by MAC. This just helps neutralize any redness inside your waterline. My final step for my eyes, I like to always um, highlight the inner part of my eye just because I love the way that it looks and it opens up my eyes and makes my eyes look a lot bigger. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use um, this, the same uh, lid color that I use from the Anastasia palette in cream. And I'm just using a pencil brush to apply it right in the inner part. Let's move on to lips. I'm gonna be using a Dose of Colors Merlot and Scarlet Love. So what I like to do is I always like to start in the center, applying a little bit of pressure on the brush helps you define your lips a little bit better. Now I'm applying Scarlet as my second coat to make the lip color a lot deeper. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed creating it for you guys. Um, I did want to show you guys the two other lip products that I would recommend or I would use if I wasn't doing such a bold lip because face it, not all of you guys are comfortable doing a red, um, especially on Valentine's Day. Um, but I also would pair this um, look with um, Dose of Colors Truffle or um, Lipland Reezy. And this is the Amreezy from the Amreezy collection. So if you guys don't have a red or don't feel comfortable wearing a red, you can also substitute with a softer or warmer tone. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.